Hi, I'm Sundata, yet Villarreal Jr. Welcome to Video Assisted Instruction Computer Programming 1 series. Right now is our lecture number 9 and the topic is the continuation of conditional statement part 2. Now, logical operators is simple relational. Logical expressions true or false depending on values compared. Now, compound logical expression built out of logical combinations of simple expression. So, when we said compound, there are plenty of logical expression or operators must be put up on the formula. Okay, examples. I am standing in a lecture hall and the moon is made of green cheese. They use and, A and D, we've discussed in the lecture number 8, is false but I am standing in a lecture hall or the moon is made of green cheese is true. Right here, we use or and or is the two pi. Remember, in computer, and is multiplication and or is addition so so that you are not uh, so that you are not troubling about what is and and or now logical expression we have the syntax when we said syntax that is the language used by the computer so log expr so logical expression 1 logical operator log logical expression 2 log expr 2 and we are using and and or so the two given and the last is not logical op log expression not so we are using exclamation mark so if you see a function of 2 less than 3 and multiply a, a function of 17 not equal to 29 so this is considered to be and and that is for the multiplication so you will notice but it is answerable only by true or false okay so if 2 is less than 3 and this is true so we have 1 because 0 is false and any number is considered to be true so 1 is basically true and 17 not equal to 29 that is true also though so this is 1 also 1 times 1 is 1 so the answer is true that is how logical expression this is what you call combination complex okay expression and or of two logical expression resulting compound expression true when both expressions true or of the two logical expression, expression true, when either expression true. The truth table is, this is the truth table, it means to say this is the correct answers for all of the logical expression. So let's uh, check out this. This is important. You need to memorize this. Otherwise, every time there is a complex or logical expression formulation, you can be having a mistake in answering the problem. By memorizing this, you cannot have the problem at all in the formula. Now, in expression 1 is 1, 1, 0, 0. Expression 2, so 1, 0, 1, 0. And the result right here, if we multiply E1 to E2, or in a logical term, E1 and E2 combined together, the result is true, false, false, false. So, how we are going to identify this? Look at this. E1 is 1, E2 is 1, E1 is 1, and E2 is 1. Therefore, it is a multiplication. 1 times 1 is 1. And that is true. So, 1 times 0 is 0. False. 0 times 1 is 0. False. 0 times 0 is 0 also false. That's why and using and is multiplication. Now let's go now with uh, pipe or or. Or is addition. So 1 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. And 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. That's why we have an answer of true, 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 false. So that's the idea. Again, memorize this. Now logical example month is 2. Year is 1999. If month in a function is equal to 2, therefore, and a year is modulo of 4 is exactly equal to 0. Okay, so that is the idea. So we have false. Why? The reason of month is equal to 2, it can be true, and that is 1. But here, 1999 divided by 4, okay, because month is 2. So 2 is exactly equal to 2, that's why this is true. 
So 1999 divided by 4, and we have the modulo of 3, the remainder. When you said modulo, percent, remainder. So the remainder is 3. So 3 is exactly equal to 0 is false. That's why we have an answer of false, that is 0. So 1 and 0, 1 times 0 is 0. False, that is the answer. Next, day is 6. So day is exactly equal to 0. So 0 is false because 6 is not equal to 0. Now, day is exactly equal to 6, so it's true. So 0 and 1, since they using or, so we have an answer of 1 or true. 0, pi, or 0 or 1 is 1. Now, short circuit aspect. End sign and pipe sign are short circuit operators, or, and, and or. If the first operand determines the value, the second operand is not evaluated. First operand of end is zero, result is zero, without evaluating second operand. That is true because it is multiplication. If you start with zero, everything in the result is zero. It means to say it is false. First operand of pipe is one, result is one without evaluating second operator. That is true. If you see in addition, there is a one, so everything is 1 because of the result 1. Second operand evaluated when needed. Now in negation, when we said negation, there is a what you call subtraction sign or positive sign at the beginning of a number or a letters, a variable or a function that is a negation. So right here at the arithmetic uh, negation, you will notice there is a what you call subtraction sign or minus sign at the beginning. It is a what do you call negation. Now, negation can be negative or positive sign. So, we can call this a negation of a function 4 times a times c. That is how we read this uh, formula or expression. Now, operator minus negatives numeric value. Logical negation, logical operator is not negates logical value. So example, 1, so the value of that is 0 because you put negative to 1. So 1, negative 1 is 0. 0, negative 1 is 1 because after 0, we have 1 or negative 1. That's why if you put the negation here, the result is 1. If it is 1, the result is 0. Now example, a negation of, sorry, this is not 3 greater than 4. So 3 is less than Four. So, automatic, this is false, 0. But you put not as a negation, therefore, it is 1. So, not reverses the answer in a logical by using exclamation mark. So, 3 greater than 4 is false, and this is 0 because false is 0 and true is 1. Now, we have here the logical negation, which is exclamation mark, and exclamation mark means not 0. If it is not 0, then it is 1, true. Now, let's proceed with the complex expression. Expression can be built using arithmetic, relational, and logical operators. So, we have here not in a function of negative 5 greater than or equal to negative 6.2 or 7 not equal to 3 and 6 is exactly equal to the function 3 plus 3. We are using the operator precedence associativity. So, we are using 3 operator precedence and associativity. Or we can call this operator, hierarchy, and associativity. Now, in hierarchy, we are using PEMDAS. Okay? Don't forget that. In hierarchy or precedence, we are using PEMDAS. So, we have here plus minus unary. That is uh, exclamation and ampersand. Now, we have multiplication. So, after the PEMDAS, there is a, what do you call over precedence of that. And that is unary. We use as parenthesis, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. In the real situation right now in computer, the first one is the unary. Okay, so when it's unary, logical, then parenthesis, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So that is the idea. Then after that, we have the relational operators. And after relational operators, we have logical expression. So that is the idea. So we have here 15 right, 14 right, then we have because unary, then parenthesis, 
multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, relational expression, and logical expression. And the last is assignment. Assignment means to say equal sign. Now example, we have here also, we have the result as you will notice if you're going to compute for this. True, true, and that is false because it is not. So not in a function of negative 5 greater than equal to negative 6.2. It is greater than negative 5 to 6.2. Yes, it is greater than. If it is 5 greater than equals to 6.2, it is false. But it is negative. Okay, don't forget also the negative sign. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and good luck. Congratulations to successfully finish our lecture number 9.